Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and we're continuing our GCSE higher revision list. It's video 27 and it's on ratio and recipe style questions. Just to remind you, this course is uh, for those students who are really trying to get a, a B or a C at GCSE and it's going through the, the, the frequent questions that come up for you. I'm not going to explain the topics in depth, I'm going to quickly overview a topic and then you pause the video, you try the exam questions that have come up and then you play the video and mark yourself. Then if you're signed onto the website you track your progress by hitting red, amber or green. Okay, recipe questions. Well, two styles of questions are very popular with the exam examiner, and they've come up quite a lot of times. They've come up, I think, four out of six times, so it's a good one to revise. Typical first style of question. So you take notes now as I go through these first two examples before you pause and try yourself. They say, here are the ingredients to bake a cake for eight people. Highlight that, eight people. And they ask you, how much of each ingredient is needed to bake a cake for 20 people? Now this usually comes up in the non-calculator paper, so you're not allowed to just get a calculator out. So always above their list of ingredients, I would write eight people. Okay, and I need to get to 20 people. Now how do I do that with eights, or like fact, uh, multiples of eight, or um, uh, parts of eight? Well if I had the amount for eight people, I also had the amount for another eight people, do you agree I'd have the amount for 16 people? And if I had the amount for 4 people, that would give me my total for 20, wouldn't it? Because 8, add 8 is 16, add 4 is 20. So if I could work out the amount for 8, another set of amount for 8, a set of amount for 4 people, and add them together, I would get the amount for 20 people. And that's the trick with these style of questions. You use what you're given to get the number you need. So for eight people, I know I need 180 grams, I need 180 grams, I need 200 grams of sugar, I need one teaspoon, and I need two eggs. For four people, how would you work that out? Well, four people must be half the amount for eight people. So for four people, I must need 90 grams, 90 grams, which is half of this, 100 grams, which is half of 200, half an egg, so half, uh, or half a teaspoon even, half a teaspoon, and just one egg. So for 20, I need to add up this 180 for eight people, this 180 for another eight people to give me 16, and this 90 for four people to give me the 20. Eight, 180, 180 is 360, add 90 is going to be 450 grams. 180, 180, add 90, again is 450 grams. 200, add 200 is 400, add another 100 is 500. Uh, 1 teaspoon plus 1 is 2, plus a half, so it's 2.5 teaspoons. And 2 eggs plus 2 eggs plus 1 egg is 5 eggs. And then write your answer here in the, in the space provided. Make sure you always write your units, so 450 grams, 450 grams, 500 grams, 2.5 what? teaspoons and five eggs and we're done first style of question that tends to come up okay again copy of notes here's the second example of the style that comes up it's very very similar just a slight twist on it they give you the ingredients that you need to make a cake for eight people okay and they say to you that Colin wants to make a cake for 12 people and has the following in his cupboard so this is what he needs. Eight people. This is what he's got in his cupboard. So he's got this amount. And the question is, if he was to try and make a cake for 12 people, is the amount he's got enough? And you must show you're working. Now, clearly, this is the amount for eight people. So we've got to get the amount for 12 people. So what do I have to add on to eight to get 12? Well, four. So if we have the amount for eight people, we have the amount for four people, and we add them together, we get the amount for 12 people. So to get the amount for four people, I halve all these. So 180 halved would be 90 grams of margarine. 
180 halved would be 90 grams of sugar, 200 halved would be 100 grams of flour, 1 teaspoon halved would be a half a teaspoon, and 2 eggs halved would be 1 egg. So, if I add the amount for 8 and the amount for 4, okay, I'm going to get the amount for 12 people, which is what the question is about. So, adding 180 at 90, I'm going to get myself 270 grams. Again, 270 grams, 300 grams, uh, one and a half teaspoons, and three eggs. So this here, I'm going to highlight this, this bit here is the amount that is needed for 12 people. This is the amount that you must have to be able to make the cake for 12 people. So it's the required. This is what I've got. So I've got 400 grams of margarine. Is that enough? Yes, of course it's enough because I only need 270. I've got 280 grams of sugar and I need 270. Is that enough? Yes, I've got 10 grams to spare. However, uh, let's do the three teaspoons. Three teaspoons is more than one and a half, so good. Six eggs is more than three eggs, good. But look at this. I have got 295 grams of plain flour, but I need 300 grams, so I'm 5 grams short, so I haven't got enough, so you have to state your answer, Colin does not have enough when I compared what he has to what he needs and say what short he is five grams short of plain flour and you can state in brackets even though he has all he he has enough for the rest he he has all the other ingredients Okay, and they're the two styles of questions that come up, and that's about it for these style of questions. Okay, so at this stage, pause the video. I'm going to show you the question, and you're going to work through them. You can either print them out from the website on the worksheet, or you can pause the video and look at them on the screen and do them. So here's the first one. Pause the video now, and only when you've done all the questions at the end, you mark them. So pause. Okay, going through these, uh, very similar to what I showed you. Here's the amount for chicken soup for four people. So this is the four people ingredients. We want it for six people. How much do you need of each? So, how do you use the amount for four people to get six? Well, you need another two people, don't you? And the amount for two people is half the amount for four people. So we would have 30 grams of butter, which is half of 60. We could show it that we've divided by two. 300 grams, which is 150 grams, 150 halved is 75 millilitres, one onion halved is half an onion, and 640 halved is 320 millilitres. Okay, so now we're going to just add these together. So we're going to say that 60 plus 30 is 90, and that's how much butter we have. Then we're going to say 300 plus 150 is 450. So 450 grams of chicken we need. Then we're going to say 150 plus 75 is equal to 225 millilitres of cream. 225 millilitres of cream. Then we're going to say 1 plus a half is clearly 1 and a half onions. So 1 and a half onions. And lastly, um, we're going to say 640 plus 320 is equal to 960 uh, millilitres of chicken stock. And we're done. Okay, next question. Pause the video, work through it, and then mark it. Okay, going through this. They give us the amount we need to make 16 gingerbread men. So here's the amount for 16. In the question, they want to make... Hamish wants to make 24 gingerbread men. How much of each ingredient do you need? Well, look, it's a very similar old thing. How do you get from 16 to 24? You add on another 8 because 
24 take away 16 is 8 so you need an, another amount for 8 people so let's work out how much is needed for 8 people how do we get from the amount for 16 to 8 well, we must halve it so we half everything so half of 180 is 90 grams of flour half of 40 is 20 grams of ginger half of 110 or well, half of 100 is 50 and half of 10 is 5 so it must be 55 grams half of 30 is 15 grams so we're going to add them together like we did before. 180 plus 90 is equal to 270. 40 add 20 is equal to 60 grams of ginger. 110 add 55 is equal to 165 grams of butter. And 30 add 15 is equal to 45 grams of sugar. Like that. And we're done for another question. Right, let's have a go at another one. Pause the video, work through it, and then mark it. Okay, so here's a list of ingredients to sell 12 small cakes. You need 180 grams of margarine, 180 grams of sugar, 200 grams of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and two eggs. Joe is going to make 24 small cakes. How much margarine does he need? They only want the margarine here for two marks. Now, how do I get from 24 cakes to, uh, from sorry, from 12 cakes to 24 cakes? Well, I add another amount for 12 cakes. So I'm going to add another 180, another 180 for this, another 200 for this, another one for that, another two. Now they only want the margarine, so they only want that amount, or that amount. So it's going to be 180 plus 180 which is 360 grams. Okay, now the question slightly changes, so you've got to read it carefully. Sharon is going to make a cake for 18. Uh, for 18. How much flour does she need? So now she's going to make it for 18. Now, how much more is 18 than 12? Well, it's six more. So what we're we going to need is we're going to need the amount for six cakes. Okay, the amount for six would be half of this, so it would be 90, 90, 100, a half, and one egg. Now, they only ask how much flour does she need, so we only care about flour, so we're going to add this 200, and we're going to add this 100, because 12 and 6 is 18, so 200 grams of flour plus 100 grams of flour is how much we need. So 200 plus 100 is going to be 300 grams of flour. Okay, next question. This is the last question, so pause the video, have a go, and then mark it. Okay, so with this question, you'll notice it's from a calculator paper. So we can use the calculator. We are also assessed for the quality of our written work here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do it uh, without the calculator to show you it can be done, and then do it with the calculator afterwards. So basically, this is how much... Uh, you need for 18 mince pies. Elaine wants to make 45. She's got this so much. Does she have enough is the question. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work out how much is needed for 45 and compare it to what she's got. Now just before we do that, let's convert what she's got into the same units. We've got grams, 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 grams and eggs. We've got grams, grams and eggs here, but we need to convert these to grams and that's one kilogram is a thousand grams and that's a thousand grams, okay? Right, how do we work out the amount for 80, for 45? Well, 45 subtract 18 is going to be equal to 27. So we need 27 more um, uh, uh, here, 20, the amount for 27 more. So 27, we can get that by adding another 18 and adding 9, because 18 and 9 is 27. Then if I add 18 and 18, it's 36. Add 9 gives me the amount for 45. So... I need 225, I need 350, I need 100, I need uh, 280, and I need one egg. And for nine, I need half of all of this. Now, half of 200 is 100, half of uh, 20 is 10, and half of five is 2.5. So I need 112.5. Half of this is 175, half of this is 550, half of this is 140, 
and half of this is a half. So the total for 45 is the sum of all these. That and that is for 50. Add that is 562.5. That add that is 700. Add that is 875. That add that is 200. Add that is 250. That add that is 560. Add that is going to be 700. And one and one and a half is two and a half. So, so this is how much I have. It's right beside it versus how much I need. So I need therefore 562.5, I need 875, I need 250, I need 700 and I need two and a half eggs. So have I got enough? I have a thousand grams, I need this, I've certainly got enough. I have a, th I have a thousand, I need 875, I've got enough. I have 500, I need 250, I've got enough. I have 600, oh, I need 700. There's a problem here. Okay, there's a problem here. I have 600 grams of minced meat, but I need 700. I don't have enough. And I have six eggs, and I've got, uh, I need two and a half. I've got enough. So the answer is Elaine does not have enough. She is 100 grams short of minced meat, even though she has all the other ingredients. Okay, and we're done. Now, how would I have done this with the calculator to save me this work here? Okay, how would I have saved me that work? Well, all I would do is work out how many times bigger is 45 than 18. So I would have done 45 divided by 18 in my calculator, like a scale factor. How many times do I have to times up 18 to get 45? If I do that in my calculator, I get 2.5. So take a look, 45 divided by 18 is 2.5. Okay, so what I'd have done with uh, 2.5 I'd have multiplied it by each of the amounts of 18 to scale it up to 45. So two and a half times 225, 562.5c, same. 350 times 2.5, 875c, the same. 100 times 2.5 is 250. 280 times 2.5, 700, and one times 2.5 is two and a half. So that's how I could have done it quicker with a calculator. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks loads for watching. Hope that you found that useful and now you can nail these recipe and proportion questions. Cheers.